Hi, everyone. So today we wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about Canvas, specifically what it's like to be a student. You know, our schools are up and running. We've been in school for about a month. And so with me today is Kat. Kat, uh, can you introduce yourself and uh, we'll jump right in. Hi, I'm Katarina Nichols. I am an instructional technology specialist as a TOSA for ICSD. What we want to do today is talk about what's it like to be a student in Canvas and what are some like the look fors and things that teachers should know. So I'm um, Kat, I think you had some stuff you want to show us. So we'll look at the dashboard, calendar, and grades. So from the Canvas dashboard, students can see all of their course cards. Um, so there's one course card per class period. Um, and this is a really easy way for them to see the different courses they have and the teachers. And if you notice, for example, on Spanish, um, the student has one announcement they haven't seen yet, and also two comments on a discussion board. So you're saying, so the dashboard, a student gets a quick snapshot, they see all their courses, and then if there's any content that they might need or comments, it's great. Exactly. Them. Great way to get started. Okay, cool. What else you got? So the calendar is really helpful from a student perspective because you can see when assignments are due. And then if you click on any of the assignments, it shows you either the score on it or it brings you to a description of the assignment and then the student can click on the assignment from there. All right, so one of the things that we like is that calendars maybe aren't as effective for the teacher to use in the class, but if there's a due date that the teacher sets up for, for an assignment, um, the students are gonna get it in their calendar, and then if it's graded, they can take a look at the grade or they can get a description of what needs to be done. Yeah, and it'll take them right to the assignment, which I think is really great. Um, something to be really aware of from the teacher perspective is that it's only going to show up on the calendar if you put a due date in. All right, this is the grades tab. Students can access the grades tab for each individual class. Um, and then they can also toggle using this menu here between their classes once they're in the grades tab. All right, so you shared three helpful things. Um, so it seems like one of the things going on out there is uh, teachers now might know a little bit more about what their students are seeing, but also if you're sitting with students trying to help them out, um, what would you say is the first place we should go when we're working with those students? Maybe looking over their shoulder while they are there in campus. Yeah, if you just have a moment, moment with the student, I would start out by going to their calendar. Even though it's not really useful for teachers because you only see your course, for a student, they can toggle on and off between their different classes and they can look at what's due on which date and also see what they haven't done yet. And then maybe if you're in like a home base or a more sort of support setting with a student, go to the grades area and take a look at that with them sort of how they're doing each course using that drop down menu you showed us. Yeah, that's a great way to do it. Great. Um, thanks for those tips. Um, I think we're going to do some more of these. Next time, I think we're going to look at things like mastery grading, um, maybe some of the other LTI tools and different options. So thanks, Kat. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. Let's start over.